think it's just a twofer. A twofer. You a mean a, 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 two, a twofer. I'm going to start calling it. Hey everyone, it's Maddie here. I am about to do a video with my boyfriend, but I wanted to do a quick intro because I forgot to in the next clip that you're going to see. So really, I just wanted to buy some more books, but I had no clue what I wanted to buy. So Brock, my boyfriend, I'm going to give him my credit card and he's going to go buy me some books from Barnes & Noble. I'm going to go with him, but I'm not going to look at the books he's buying me. He'll buy those separately. And then afterwards, we'll meet probably just in the car. He can tell me why he bought the books that he did. Now he does know that fantasy is my favorite genre so I'm gonna just send him straight to the fantasy section and he can choose from there I will also give him my Goodreads like my phone so he can see the books that I've already read I don't want him rebuying any of these so I hope that if I give him my Goodreads he can look at the books that I've already read he doesn't know how to use Goodreads though so I don't think he'll see my full want to read list I don't think he'll he'll know how to get there. So I'm not worried about him cheating or anything and picking a book off that part of the app, but I just wanna see what he picks and why. And I know for a fact he's gonna pick based off the cover. This will be pretty interesting, but I guess you could say it's a boyfriend buys my TBR, but not really. He's just gonna go find a few books that are random and hopefully I like them. But yeah, okay, intro over. Okay, so I'm here with Brock. We're about to go into Barnes and Noble. I'm gonna hand him my credit card and then he's gonna choose three books. I told him, or I'm gonna show him how to do Goodreads just so he can see what I've already read. I don't want him rebuying anything. And what else did I say? I feel like I'm gonna pick stuff that you don't wanna read any of. <laughs> well, I'm gonna point him to the fantasy <laughs> section. So he's gonna go in the right area, but he's scared to check out because he doesn't read these kind of books. So he doesn't wanna be judged. Yeah. But that's okay. I told him not all of them are girly. Oh, and they have to be paperback because I don't like hardcover. So that's the really the only rules. But I just told him three books. Hopefully I like some of them, but we'll see. I guess when we're in the store. <laughs> Look at this crack. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. I got a good outfit. I got my four wheel too. <laughs> I still haven't looked at them. I don't know what they are. I'm keeping my eyes on him, not on the books. <laughs> All right, and we got a little drink. It's really good. All right, show, All right. go ahead. He's okay. gonna show me the books. I haven't seen them, so go. <laughs> yeah, so she showed me the section. I was a little overwhelmed because it's like, there's a couple of things that came to mind. One is like a lot of the covers, I don't like the ones that look overly like cartoonish with like the characters, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. And so I don't like that. So I was trying to find books that didn't have that. And then two, I know you're really into like the magic stuff and fairies <laughs> or whatever. He has, so, no, he has no clue what I read to so me. So I was trying to pick something like that. So the first one, or like, first one I kept is one on your re want to read list, The Kinder Poison. It's good. That's a good one. I Someone, com someone commented on my last YouTube video oh, about that it? series. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I looked it up and um, I saw That's it on a good one to read. And, uh, I think someone commented they... I picked this up in my one of my last vlogs and they were like, oh, that's like a really good series, so. Oh, I'm stupid, the price is up there. You were yeah. asking me earlier. I, was at, I told him no hardcovers, but that's the he first got, one I grabbed. <laughs> yeah, he grabbed it. Um, the other thing, this brings me to the other point I had with all these books and the other ones I didn't choose, is the character names are so hard to read. Oh, when no. I have to read the description, I'm like, what in my it? brain, I just skip over. <laughs> like, Wait, hold on, Zaru, it? okay. But then some of the other like ones, I'm just yeah. like, in my head, I just go, and then blah, 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 blah goes and you know to the forest yeah. or something i kind of just that like, thing, like my head. i think that's a thing for fantasy they make it hard to all pronounce. right so the next two i don't believe on your want to read so hopefully they're good uh it's called angel mage garth nix okay oh gosh i don't Do know, you know i've never oh, seen it no i've okay, never good. heard of it but um, I'm, I'm gonna look these up on i Goodreads picked later. this i don't i'm not gonna read the whole thing but i picked it because it's about it says magical it's like this girl emerges basically or like wakes up she's trying to like reunite with a lover from like the past or something like that okay. and she's like befriends these other like magical people or these oh, other people so i feel like it. they have like a little crew and they're going through an adventure okay. and i feel like you've read books like that and you'd like it yeah. and, and it says she just intends to use them as mere pawns in her plan no matter the cost so okay. she kind of seems like a bad bitch hold on let me show it what is it Angel Mage, Angel okay. Mage Darth Mage. It got decent ratings. I think it had like four. Yeah. I think the other two, these two had four stars. Okay. No, that's not on my good, or that's yeah. not on my list, but that's good. 
Yep. My last one is uh, one. Once and Future. I looked it up because I almost grabbed, I think, the second in the series. That's all it is, a series. I think it's just a twofer. A twofer? You a, mean a, 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 two, a twofer? I'm going to start calling it a twofer. It sounds better as a twofer. <laughs> um, now, this one is tricky because it's... it's. Did you like the cover? Is that why you picked something? No, 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 no. It, it didn't really have that much to do with that. This one's tricky because it's magical, but it mixes in a lot of history. Or like mythical history like you know like king arthur and his sword yeah it has something to do with that which i thought you'd like because then you can kind of like look up the history and how they merged in it because okay. basically it's about this refugee girl who like she's the only one who ends up being able to magically pull this sword and like it's revealed that she's the 42nd so it's a retelling yeah well, no it. no she's like the 42nd reincarnation of king arthur and I just thought that was kind of okay. neat. So I thought it would be a good mix of history and fiction. Yeah, together. that's a good one. Who's it? Wait, who's it by? Oh, it's by two authors, babe. Mm hmm And uh, there's a... I've never read second, a book with two authors. Yeah. That'll be interesting. I'm not used to that at all. Yeah, but so how I about think that? you did good. I think I did good, too. I think you did really good. This this one I'm more excited for, but because yeah. I know more about it. But I'm definitely going to look these up on Goodreads later <laughs> just to see what the ratings and well, stuff are. Maybe a part two. Maybe a part two if I like these. A maybe. twofer. A twofer. <laughs> That's it for now. I think I'm going to do an outro when I get home, but we're going to enjoy our tea. It is hot today. It's like 90 something. Yeah, it's so hot. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to look these up on Goodreads and then I'll come back to you guys with the outro, but thank you for coming with me. <laughs> All right, it is a few hours later. Brock and I went to Barnes & Noble, ran a few errands, and now I'm back. I just got in some comfy clothes. Brock and I are in for the night, and I'm gonna read, probably. We might watch a TV show, I'm not really sure, but I figured I would do a quick recap on the three books that Brock got, Kinder Poison, and Once in Future, and Angel Mage. So let me just do a quick recap, because I know Brock, <laughs> tried to do a recap and he did good. He did a great job. I think he picked these books with purpose. I know he was really stressed to go in the fantasy area for some reason. I think he'd never been in that section of a bookstore and there were a lot of people over there so he had no idea what he was really looking for but he did a good job and I'll give him that. I am gonna start with Angel Mage by Garth Nix. This one looks to be the most interesting out of the three, in my opinion, um, because I've never heard of it. I looked it up on Goodreads. I believe it was released in 2019, and it's like three and a half stars. For some reason in my head, anything lower than four isn't worth reading, but I've really got to break that bad habit because I know it's a bad habit. I think this book too only had like 3,000 ratings. Like it was like no one has read this book. 3,000 people have, but on Goodreads, that's really low for a book to be read. So I'm really excited to read this. Just a quick recap. It is about a woman named Lilith who is one of the greatest practitioners of angelic magic during her time. And she's brought back to life. And her one mission in this new life that she has because she was back brought back to life is to find her long lost love and she uses four humans to help her find him but i think the four people that she brings together to use them to find her lost lover end up becoming very very close and it forms this found family so i think i will really like this book i'm excited to read it um the text is beautiful it looks like it's a beautiful cover and I think Brock chose it not because of the cover. I'm pretty sure he probably just picked it off the shelf and read it and was like, yep, that's good. So I am actually really excited to read this one. And the next book Brock picked up is called Once and Future by two authors actually, Amy Capetta and Corey McCarthy. Now, I have never read a book with two authors, so I'm interested to see how the writing is. I don't know how that works. I'm not familiar with the English department in any sense. I have a science degree, so I know nothing about two authors. I don't know how that works, but I'm very interested to see if I notice any differences. If you do know anything about two authors, let me know how that works because I would be interested to learn more or I can just look it up later. But this book seems interesting. It doesn't seem like something I would pick up. I'm not gonna lie. I probably would not pick this up. I think the cover's beautiful. It's two hands holding this 
really pretty sword. Anyway, besides the cover being pretty, it's about this girl named Ari and she happens to pull this sword out of a stone. And obviously this doesn't really happen. So she finds out she is the reincarnation of King Arthur. She has to go through some sort of training to kind of lead a revolution. So a boy named Merlin teaches her how to fight and how to become a soldier basically because she has this magic sword and she's supposed to change the world. There is a little bit of history trickled in. I will say reading the summary on the back of the book and the little like snippets, it's definitely a younger book. It's definitely meant for young adults. Then again, I literally told him to go to the fantasy young adult section. Still interested in reading this one. Okay, there is someone outside doing yard work right now and I don't know why it's like 8 p.m. at night but anyway the third book is The Kinder Poison by Natalie May I have wanted to read this for a little bit I did see a comment on my YouTube channel I think like last week and someone recommended this book I forgot what video it was on but I've heard good things it is rated four stars on Goodreads and I do rely a lot on Goodreads there were only like 2,000 ratings so it's not a very popular book yet but I think it will be this cover also is very pretty this is my favorite color. Obviously co covers matter to me too. But anyway, it is about a girl named Zaru, or Zaru, I'm probably saying that wrong. Zaru, her dream is to escape the situation she's in right now. She is in the lower class of her society and she wants to escape her society to kind of adventure off and live the life that she's always read about in books and fairy tales. But she happens to take this wrong turn in an adventure and go to the palace. There's some big competition or race across the desert in her community and she ends up in the palace somehow and becomes the human sacrifice at the end of the big challenge. So now she's trying to run away from the palace of, in this competition because she does not want to become the human sacrifice. That was all right here so I didn't spoil anything. I am interested to read it. I don't know how I'll like it but I don't know. It seems interesting. But that is it for this video. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Maddie Dixfit, which is my personal Instagram, or my bookstagram, which is out of five stars. I haven't been posting on there recently because I really need to go take some pictures of the books that I've been reading. I literally have a stack of books that I've read that I need to go find pretty settings, and I think I'm gonna do that one day this week just to get some pictures out of the way. I hope you liked this video. I know that it was a little short video, a little short vlog, but it was a good little date too because Brock and I don't get a lot of time together because we we work in the same place but it's difficult I don't know how to explain it we just don't get a lot of time together so anytime that we get it's fun it was nice to send him off with my credit card <laughs> and I'm really happy with the book choices he made because they aren't popular books so it's not the books that you constantly see and that are constantly being promoted it's smaller books and smaller authors so I can branch out and I will see you guys next week with a new video on Thursday, but that's it for this video. Are you comfy? Oh.